Hello YouTube, Tim with the Manchu bow with wood seers. I want to put it through its paces and see exactly what it's doing. It seemed like a heck of a fast bow. I believe we can back that up with some actual data today. Where the weather permits, let's give it a try, shall we? First thing I'm going to do is just move the camera off a touch more to the left. Clearer of the line of fire. Hope you understand why. Alright, excellent. Knocking. Tell you what, I strung the bow upside down. Since the serving is offset, you can see the serving's too low, really, for where I, uh, I knock my arrows. So let me just reverse that quickly. I try and use as little serving as possible just to keep the weight of the string down. Again, that should theoretically enhance performance. So you're looking to minimize string weight, and anything that you save on string weight can be added or ad either added to arrow weight or left off entirely, hopefully increasing the speed of your bow. Okay. We're set. The string is on. It looks good, and the knocks, or the serving is in the right spot. That's a hefty bow to get strung. Ready for shot number one. Of course. Of course. I'm just going to go ahead and fire shot number two since I'm excited. And I don't feel like going to grab the other one until I get a result. One hundred and fifty-three, and that was not a full draw. Let me try and be very careful this time. Of course. One hundred and sixty-six point eight feet per second on that last shot. So we got two results from that. One was very low due to poor draw. The other was approximately what you'd expect. My guess is that's about what it should normally be shooting. Here we go. 166.2. Ready? I don't even think it registered that one. Error. One more, then I'll go collect them and we can try again to get more data. 166. I really think we can hit 170 with this. And if we were using 435 grain arrows instead of 440, 445, I think we would. Or even so, just the things as they are. Ready. 167.1 That was not a good draw, nor a good loose. Let's try it again. I think this thing is going to consistently shoot about 168 feet per second. That's, as far as I'm concerned, that's excellent. I'd like it to be faster, but this is still very nice, very good. Last one. Of course. 
Still, we have enough readings. I'm going to say that that's about where it should be shooting. Finger style. Now, theoretically, with a thumb ring shot appropriately, shot with someone by someone with good skill, you should see about a 6% gain in arrow speed, either with a mechanical release or with the thumb draw. That's a good thing, very good thing. You'd expect at this rate to pick up a well over 6 feet per second. I'd say 10 feet per second would be reasonable if, if someone's really on the ball. So now you're talking something in the high 170s. That's really exceptional. That's great. As far as I'm concerned, that puts the bow right where it needs to be. However, we're not shooting a, a 10 grain per pound arrow. Right now we're shooting about an 8.5, 9 grain per pound arrow. And uh, so it's not necessarily a fair comparison to the best wood bows, which you'd expect to shoot 170 to 180 feet per second with 10 grains per pound. But we do have some more arrows here, so let's give it a shot. And please do bear in mind that my finger style is sloppy. I'm sure I overhook the string. I'm sure I have defects there galore. But still, even if you tack on a few percentage, let's call it about 170 feet per second theoretical maximum for this. Now let's shoot the heavy bamboo arrow and see what it does. This is very hard for me to gauge draw length because the arrows are 32 inches long. Holy crap. I wish I got that one on. I mean, it's definitely moving it. I expect even that one was about 150 feet per second. Next try. Yeah, 147.8. This is with a 768 grain arrow, ballpark. I'll give the exact value in the data below, in the show notes and on the blog, especially the blog. Do check that out. I have lots of cool stuff there. All right, next shot. 138.8. Let's do one more, since I'm getting kind of tired. And I'm sure that's going to affect my form. Ready, and draw. Well, yeah, didn't even get it to read. Well, let's leave that arrow here, and let's shoot the other bamboo arrow, which is about 80 to 100 grains lighter. That's substantially lighter. Figures. I promise I'm going to keep on shooting this one until I get a, a result, a data point, at least one for this arrow. And one, two, three. Next try. Oh, 150. There we go. That wasn't exactly the way I wanted to get data, but we did. Let's shoot once with the, the remaining white arrow. This is the lighter of the two. It should be about 500 grains, 550. Let's just give it a shot. Haha. -ha. One more try, and then I promise, that's it. 169.1. Wow, that was actually the fastest with a, an arrow that was heavier than the lighter carbon arrows. Well, there it is. I'm still very pleased with this. I believe this bow 
incompetent hands could shoot well over 170 feet per second, maybe as high as 180 to me. While that doesn't make this a record-breaking bow, there's still more I can do to reduce its weight, such as uh, take off these string pads of PVC, replace them with uh, arrow gu uh, string guides of light wood, glue them on, remove as much excess material, excess hot glue as possible, sand the edges, thin the, the sias to the maximum extent possible. We could probably wring another 5 feet per second out of this bow, but I'm so pleased with it as it is. I've never made a bow that I've been as happy with, even the home guard bows. If you like it, please give it a try. Go and make a bow like this. It's spectacular, really, really fun, and this has been so exciting. Uh, the comment was that somebody wanted to see me do a happy dance because I was so pleased with this, so... What I don't do for you people. Thanks for watching, YouTube.